That light skin boy SK Vibe make it in the building for Rinse TV. And you know, we bring through the best special guests, the best artists, the biggest ones. Today we've got Cash Tastic. What's going on, sir? What's going on, sir? First, we're not in the building, we're outside. <laughs> we're outside. Okay, we're, we're outside. outside the building today, but yeah, we're here, man. We're in the building of greatness, though. There you go, there you team go. Team Winning is the team that you got at the moment. All the time. All you the see time. the introduction? I love that. I love that. <laughs> Tell us about Team Winning, then, man. Team Winning, that's just my team. That's just literally my team. That's my immediate people around me. If you're around me, it's Team Winning. Team Winning is the company that we, we, we've, we've launched at the moment. Um, we've got artist development, we've got artist management. Um, we're getting ready to set up the label side of stuff. Um, Clothing will be going through Team Winning and stuff. The website will be launching soon and stuff. So yeah, it's just, it's just a normal winning enterprise. And just in case people didn't know, you're 19 years old. Yes. You're from South London, Peckham. Yeah. And things are popping. People are expecting you to be the next MC to cross over. Yeah. And make that big splash. Yes. How does that feel? That feels good. That feels, it feels good because obviously I always, ex I've always expected myself to be the next MC to, to make that crossover. So for the fact other people are expecting it as well, it just makes me know that everyone's on the same page. So. With or without their expectation, I would have still wanted it for myself. So it's just good that everyone's having the same expectation. And something that puts you in like um, a category aside from the rest is you stated in the lyric that you're one of the only rappers out here that wasn't a, a member of the grime scene. Yes. It wasn't originally a member of the grime scene. Yes, yes. So break down that line, man. Um, that line was literally how it was, how, how, it, how it was said. I never grew up listening to grime. Um, at the point where everyone my age group or even just older was listening to grime, I don't know why, I just, I really didn't like Graham, I really didn't get it. I didn't understand why they were repeating it so much, I didn't understand why there was a craze about Graham. But, growing up, in England, you, 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 you start seeing why people love Graham. And now, I realise that if it wasn't for Graham, UK rap wouldn't be where it is. But um, yeah, I never ever listened to Graham, so I never ever done it. So on your way to fulfilling your potential that I can see, a lot of people can see. Thank you, yeah. You've signed a publishing deal with Universal. Yes. Tell us about that, man. Um, I've recently signed a publishing deal with Universal. Um, it's, it, it, was a, it, was, it wasn't an overnight situation. We was building a relationship since I was 17. And um, yeah, just that, that time just came for us to, to, to put the pen to the, to the paper and now it's done. Uh, and break it down, man, because not everybody knows there's a difference between publishing and having a, a record deal. Yeah. Now, at the moment, you've got a publishing deal with Universal Records. Yeah. You don't have a record deal with Universal. No. Yeah. So, so yeah. break it down. So I've signed my publishing deal, um, meaning they'll get, me, they'll get me in sessions with producers, songwriters that I could probably wouldn't have been able to get in with so quick early on in my career. Not only that, they'll collect my royalties for me. If my song's playing in Japan right now, we're in we're somewhere in Brick Lane, Shoreditch. How am I gonna know? Do you know what I mean? So they'll collect that for me. Um, they can sync my stuff for me. So if there's a new movie coming out and it's about I don't know a rapper that wasn't ever a member of the grime scene, <laughs> then they then they can sync my music and put it in there. Um, video games and stuff like that, they can sync it for me um, and just. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's not a major difference to a record deal, but those are the, the little few steps that benefits me. So when, like, a lot of people are, are waiting for an album, it's early to talk about it, man, yeah. but people want an album from you now. I'm but working on an album now. Um, I'm working on the album right now, as in literally the majority of sessions I've been doing is just working on the album material. I'm not going to rush the album, that's one thing I tell people. Um, because everyone's been expecting that album and when you're doing your first album your first album is supposed to be that you know what I mean so I'm never gonna rush it I'm, I'm gonna get as musical as I, as I, as I feel to be um, and be as creative as I, as I feel to be and um, it's gonna be a great album So tell us about the latest one, man. The latest offering in my zone. Yes, uh, the latest track that I've just put out is um, in my zone. Um, I actually recorded in my zone this time last year, um, and we were sitting on it, waiting for the right time to, to get out. Um, it's produced by the Splurge Boys. Mm -hmm. 
gonna be something crazy. It's gonna be jumping off in the clubs. Um, radio has been supporting it as yourself as well. And um, yeah, it's just just getting ready to shoot the video, get out, start the campaign, and then move on to the next. So what it is, Rinse TV, SK Vimaker, that light skin boy, and I've been speaking to one of the sickest MCs in the game. It's simple as that, man. Thank Safe you, for sir. coming thank through, you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me.